Namaste and welcome to Refeel Yoga. In today's video, we're going to be doing a complete spinal series from Yogi Bhajan's Kundalini Yoga. This series is going to be focused primarily on waking up the spine, the central channel, Shashumna Nadi, is waking up the, the central nervous system, all the energy flows from the brain through the spine to the rest of the body and back to the mind. So it's very important that we keep this central column very healthy, very flexible. We're going to be doing a bunch of Kriyas, which means we'll be doing some movements, some postures and some breathing all combined with this intention of waking up the spine, waking up the energy channels. Before we begin, it's important that you know we'll be doing uh, two different breaths. One is going to be like a sniff and throw breath. That's just a quick in and out through the nose. This is the breath we'll be doing the most. And the other breathing is the breath of fire. Breathing like a dog, but through the nose. So it's, it's more quick without that pause like the sniff and throw has. Also, you need to know Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha is a muscular contraction at the perineum, so between the genitals and the anus. At first all these muscles just squeeze together like lifting the pelvic floor, so just go with that, contracting the genitals and anus. I think that's all you need to know before we begin, so let's get started. Coming into any comfortable seated position. When we do this style of yoga, we start with a mantra to tune in. The mantra is Ong Namo Gurudev Namo means I call on my higher self, the collective consciousness, the internal guru to guide me. I bow to the guru within. Ang Namo Gurudev Namo. We're going to repeat this three times. Bring the hands to heart center, focusing at Ajna Chakra, deep inhalation. Oh. center, the stimulation of the energy channels already from the repetition of the mantra. And we'll start with Sufi grind. We begin by leaning forward from the pelvis, and then we rotate towards the left, round back, right and forward. And continuing in this movement, and bring your awareness to the base of the spine where your seat is touching the mat and feel the base, feel the root rotating around on the floor feel like you can keep your eyes closed and the attention inside of the spine next bring your awareness to the pelvic region feel this energy moving in the pelvis, in the genitals Awakening this energy, bringing flexibility to the pelvic region. Next, feel this movement in the area of the abdomen, massaging the internal organs, detoxifying and awakening the system. We start to connect the breath with the movement, inhaling forward and exhaling back. And really 
opening the chest as you expand forward and rounding the back as you go back. Feel this movement all the way up into the chest. Make sure to keep your chin parallel with the floor so the chin's not moving down or up. And feel this rotation all the way into the throat center. Feel the movement from the base of the spine all the way up to the throat. Yes, the next time you come to the front, switch directions, opposite direction. Still inhaling forward, exhaling back. This is excellent for awakening the, the entire spine. And we go through the same sequence of awareness. First bringing your awareness to the base of the spine, the seat, rolling around on the mat. Next, shift the awareness to the pelvic region, the second chakra. Feel the sexual energy moving around the pelvis, around the genitals, awakening all the energy channels. Next, the abdomen, feeling the third chakra, Manipura, awakening the digestive system, the internal fire, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Feel this all the way up into the heart, into the chest, expanding the chest. And all the way up into the throat center. From the base of the spine, all the way up to the throat. Beautiful. Take a deep inhalation, sit nice and tall. Hold the breath. And relax. Sitting with the eyes closed. Feeling the little movements of energy from the base of the spine all the way up to the top of the head. Beautiful. Now release your sitting position, releasing the legs. <coughs> Remove the flesh away from the sits bones. Feet are extended, feet flexed, palms up, facing each other. We're going to do what's called the rowboat. So we inhale back about 10 degrees and we exhale forward. We start to do that sniff and throw breath. Again, really feeling this movement low in the pelvis. This is for waking up the lower chakras. really good for pumping the liver, pumping the kidneys, waking up the adrenals. Inhale back, exhale forward. And deep inhalation, fill the lungs, hold the breath and squeeze Mula Bandha, keep the arms up, holding Mula Bandha, contracting the genitals and anus, feel this energy locked inside the torso. And exhale, folding forward, grabbing the feet or resting the hands on the shins, wherever is available to you. Remember, we're still early in the practice, so don't go too deep, just to wherever is comfortable. Sitting with the eyes closed, bring your attention to Muladhara Chakra at the base of the spine. This is our internal battery, our store of vitality. So here we're building vitality, we're building energy to support us through the rest of the practice. Keeping the attention focused at the base of the spine between the genitals and anus, Muladhara Chakra.
And that will do Jandi releasing. Coming up to a sitting position, you can rest on the hands. Keep the eyes closed, focusing inside. Feeling a pleasant sensation in the legs. The arousal of energy at the base of the spine, Muladhara Chakra. Feeling an increase in energy and vitality. And this stability that will carry through the rest of the practice. Next, coming into a comfortable cross-legged position. We're going to do a cat-cow movement now, waking up the lower part of the spine, holding onto the shins bet between the ankles and knees. We're going to inhale the navel forward and exhale back. Again, make sure to keep the chin parallel with the floor. Inhale forward, exhale back. Feeling really the pelvis rotating here with the breath and movement. You can start slow and as you feel comfortable, gradually picking up to a more powerful breath and movement. Focusing on the lower three chakras here. And deep inhalation, sit up nice and tall, fill the lungs, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting the genitals. And release and relax, sitting with the eyes closed, feeling the increased movement of energy along the spine, the waking up of the lower chakras, the pelvic region, the abdomen. Increase in the body temperature, detoxification. And come to sitting on the knees. Sitting on the heels, on the knees, can rest the hands on the knees. Again, we're going to do a cat-cow movement, this time from the center of the chest. So now moving the energy up more towards Manipura Anahata, the third and fourth chakras. We're going to inhale forward from the center of the chest and exhale back. This is excellent for expanding the lungs bringing the energy up to the higher centers. If at any point through this practice you start to feel tired, just allow the breath to take over. Allow the breath to carry your body through the movements. And know that the more you invest with your breath, the more energy you invest now, the more you'll get back at the end and a big boost of energy. Deep inhalation, sit tall, fill the lungs. Squeeze Mula Bandha, locking the energy in. And release Mula Bandha, release the breath. Sitting with the eyes closed. Feeling the expansion of the energy channels. Increased movement of energy through the body, 
coming up and down the arms now, awakening into the heart center. Beautiful. Coming into a cross-legged position. <clears throat> We're now, now going to do some spinal twists. Twisting is an excellent counter to all the flexing we've been done. Another great way to increase the flexibility of the spine. And is, uh, and is very good for the, the liver and the detoxification. So we start with the elbows extended to the side. We bend at the elbows, thumbs to the back, fingers in front. We want to keep this part of the arm parallel with the floor, so keeping the chest open. Don't allow the arms to get floppy. We're going to start inhaling left and exhaling right. Allow the neck to travel with the movement. So this twist is happening from the base all the way up to the neck. Beginning with slow breaths and gradually picking up to a more powerful breath and movement. Inhaling left, exhaling right. And deep inhalation to center, keep the arms up. Squeeze Mula Bandha and feel this energy coming up the spine, over the top of the head, to the middle of the forehead, Ajna Chakra. Turn the eyes up, focusing at Ajna. Send the energy up, send the energy up. And release and relax. Feeling a strong movement of energy through your body. Feeling the energy lifting up beyond the heart, above the shoulders, starting to touch into the upper chakras. Feel a lightness in your body as we start to sublime the energy. And a clearing away of the thoughts. And gently coming back. So now we've got the energy up to here sufficiently to move it beyond. We're going to do something now to open the heart and, and higher. Oof, sweating. We start with the left hand in front of the heart away from us, the right hand towards us. We interlock the fingers and we pull not as hard as you can, but almost. So pulling the hands, make sure the hands stay in front of the heart, in front of the heart center. We inhale the left elbow up, and we exhale the right elbow up. This is really strong for the thymus gland, working with the lymphatic system, so boosting our immune system and opening the heart. Inhale left up, exhale right up. If you start to feel any cramping or discomfort, that's just your energy channels opening. Continue with the movements, maybe go a bit lighter if you need, but try to keep breathing through it. Remember, the more you invest now, the more you'll get back at the end. Fifteen more seconds. Okay. 
and deep inhalation fill the lungs pull the arms squeeze mula bandha pull the arms pull the arms and relax lower the arms sitting with the eyes closed feeling the expansion of energy across the chest opening of the heart and the movement of energy up past the chest into the throat center feeling open energized vibrating And gently coming back. The next uh, Kriya is to move the energy from the throat up. This one's a little more technical. We're going to be doing holding the breath in and holding the breath out. So just pay attention, I'll explain. We start in the same hand position, left hand away, right hand in front, but in front of the throat this time. We're going to inhale and hold the breath here, pulling the arms. So we inhale, we fill the lungs, we squeeze Mula Bandha, and we pull the arms. Then we're gonna exhale, all the breath out. Same, same, squeeze the genitals, pull the belly in, little Uddiyana Bandha, pull the arms, and we visualize the energy going up the spine, up the spine, up the spine, over the top of the head, to Ajna Chakra, throughout this exercise. Then the second part is we inhale the arms up overhead, we do the same thing, pulling the arms, squeezing, pushing the energy up, and exhaling, same thing. Breath out, squeeze the genitals, belly in and up, pushing the energy up. And we're gonna go between these two positions three times. So start with the hands at throat level, left hand away, right hand in front. Take a deep inhalation, squeeze Mula Bandha, pull the arms, and push the energy up the spine towards Ajna Chakra. And exhale all the breath out, hold the breath out, squeeze the genitals, push the energy up. Inhale the arms overhead, pull the arms, squeeze the genitals, push the energy up. Exhale all the breath out, hold the breath out, squeeze and push up. Inhale, hands to throat center. Squeezing, pushing, pulling. Exhale, all the breath out. Hold the breath out, squeeze the genitals, belly, push up. Inhale, arms overhead. Squeezing, pushing up. Exhale the breath out. Pull the arms, squeeze the genitals. Inhale to throat center. Exhale, hold the breath out. <sighs> Inhale, arms overhead. Last round, exhale all the breath out. Hold the breath out. Deep inhalation.
release, lower the arms, sitting with the eyes closed. Feeling a strong sublimation of the energies upwards. Opening the throat and third eye centers. The refining of the energy quietening of the thoughts. Gently coming back. We have one final technique for this sequence. We're going to be performing the Ego Eradicator. We'll be doing the Breath of Fire while holding the arms up at 60 degrees. Sorry if you can't see my arms, I forgot about this part. Uh, we're going to be doing the Breath of Fire here for one minute. Then we'll inhale the arms up, we want the thumbs to come to touching. We squeeze Mula Bandha, we pull the belly in, we push the energy up the spine, up, 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 up. We hold the breath for as long as is comfortable, then we're gonna spread the fingers. And as we exhale, we sweep the space around us, pushing down any darkness, any dirt, anything that doesn't serve us anymore, push it down into the earth. And then we're gonna sit and we're gonna meditate on this glowing light all around us. Okay, so let's begin. Fold in the fingertips, point the thumbs, inhale the arms up to 60 degrees, relaxing exhalation, turn the eyes up towards Ajna Chakra and begin the breath of fire. Inhalation, arms up, thumbs touching, squeeze Mula Bandha, pull the belly in, push the energy up the spine, up, up, up. And spread the fingers wide, and as you exhale, sweep the space around you. Push in any darkness down to the earth. Sit and meditate on the glowing light all around you. Feeling open, awakened, purified, and expansive.
and you're coming back. Now is the perfect time to do meditation. If you're not going to do a meditation, I definitely recommend to take Shavasana for a few minutes, lying on the back to allow the energy to settle. Before we finish, we're going to close with one mantra, chanting Sat Nam. Sat Nam means I am the truth. We do a long Sat and a short Nam to close. Hands at heart, inhale to chant. Sat Nam Sat Nam everyone